Hello guys, today we are going to take on the Scorn of Gilgamesh. Before everything else, let's take a look at his wiki. Because this is the first 7 star um, trial. And I think it's best. Alright, so we will get the Muramasa if we complete the quest. If we use 3 uh, or less items, we get a trust mogul, we get a trust coin for dealing a bunch of elemental damage, and then limit burst. It's surprisingly not hard all these uh all these requirements. It's a human, it's a single race. So um, we're gonna get a bunch of man eater man eaters. You cannot break its defense and spirit, and you cannot bring elemental damage. Now uh Gilgamesh has uh phases. There are five phases, phase one, phase two, phase three based on 20 HP each until you get to phase 5. Now, on phase 5, you notice here, hit if listed elements last round, not hit. So, uh, basically, what this means is on phase 5, you hit him with elements. Phase 4, you don't. Actually, with phase five, 1, you hit him with elements. So, you said two columns. Phase 2, you don't. Phase 3, you hit him. Phase 4, you don't. And phase 5, you hit him. And then you have an interesting mechanic. Um, three items. If you have three items, it will break. Yeah, and you can use that with the team that I'm bringing to skip one of the phases. Alright. So... It is okay. So the most important thing to remember about the Gilgamesh trial is that he hits really hard with fixed attacks, which means there will be attacks that could not be covered. And yet there are still attacks that must be covered. Those are physical attacks. So I'm bringing a Sighard with full evade some 50% light resist and death immune mm, Fina standard tanky Fina with Arc Arcana so that I can full oh yeah I don't need to fulfill the mission for because we'll be bringing on um, our sealer has ice okay so next is Nicole this is seaside Nicole uh, as tanky as possible, but must have one of these MP refresh. And then we have our tanky Sora, 5k defense and 500 defense and spirit. So that's basically what you want to have 500 defense and spirit. And then Auron, still the same 500 uh, spirit. Now it's important to note that. Um, Gilgamesh doesn't have any um, heals and he does not have uh, any kind of way in which um, that, that is going to punish us in case we don't kill him too quickly. So in other words, we can take it the slow way, but by taking it the slow way, we can have more defense. So in other words, there are two ways you can beat this trial. Massive offense and massive defense, and when you choose um, my uh, th this strategy, we're gonna have uh, massive defense, which is basically harder, but it uh, it, it requires less uh, gear. As you can see, our main damage dealer Sora has only a thousand seven hundred attack Oron well even though he has 2k attack he's um, he doesn't have the modifiers for it all right so first turn what we're gonna do is we are gonna try and re-raise Sora now nah, second thought I'm not gonna re-raise so I'm pretty sure that he is not gonna die oh wait probably he died he could die so I might as well just dispel and then I am gonna re-raise the most important unit. 
which is the sealer. Oh, by the way, this, the role that we have are, well, this one's obvious, so healer, buffer, breaker, and then you have a new role called the sealer. All he does is just throw rainbow whips. And then here, I'm gonna start stacking the Ars Arcanum. And then gonna do Stylish form. And here. So this is the first of the three turn rotation. First is we are gonna do Light, Shade, and then Random. And then do some of the uh, Random... Uh, Second skill. Alright. So, the machine gun like animation that you see, that's basically the uh, hybrid attack. So, the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna cast Sun Castle. And then we are gonna cast uh, Shining Cheer. So it's just gonna normally cast like that. And this guy is double arcana. Alright. Let's start chaining. He still has the mitigation up so our damage isn't really stellar at the moment. Alright, so Seaside Nicole actually gives us now a general mitigation and a physical mitigation. And an HP barrier, so you notice that his damage is getting lower and lower. Alright, time to attack again. Alright, that's about it. And then Seaside Nicole is gonna give us foam. So you notice here we have reduced damage, reduced physical damage, and now we have reduced all three kinds of damage. And then we're gonna do Manatopia. And then, uh, we are just gonna rotate between I am gorgeous and the other one. So, um, on the third turn, what Gilgamesh is gonna do is he is gonna cast the Genjai Helmet and the Gen Genjai Blade. Alright, so that's, uh, every three turns he's gonna buff himself. So we need to remove that, of course. Spell Kiraga Kiraja. And the same thing. I need to do a rainbow whip. Now, this is every uh, one, four, because we're doing a three turn rotation. So I'm gonna cast Tornado. That's the first, and that's the second. And since this is the first, I am gonna cast the shade and I think I should have cast that uh, no no. There's no damage. So you notice that it hardly does any damage at all because we have again massive defense. So we are just gonna arse our cannon our way. Uh, by the way, this time he has no more mitigations. So we can actually deal some damage. Okay, very good. Rainbow Whip. Sandcastle. 
We got our barrier now. So you notice he barely does any damage at all. Alright, so we cross the threshold. What we're gonna do here is we are gonna cast AoE Re-Raise. That is literally the third. Um, and then we are gonna, uh, gonna cast our first item. There's a third limit burst. Uh, Seaside Nichols uh, Yeah, there's probably people who are gonna die So I will just uh, probably do some No, oh right right. I'm just gonna No, nah. well, I don't know what to do Probably this So that includes doing a... Alright. So in this particular fight... Um, Seaside Nicole... Unfortunately, we may have lost our mitigations. We don't have additional mitigations here. So I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna do schematic rainbow. So that's already four. Five. Limit burst, and we we've crossed the threshold, and this is the do not touch threshold. So we're not gonna be touching him. Alright, so basically the next turn that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some lifeguard shade and this time we're gonna increase our fire and light resistance. Alright, so let's begin with the uh, Ars Arcanum again. You can never triple cast Ars Arcanum, we're gonna run out of MP too quickly. Since she has that, we can do that. So I can begin with a mana thing. Manatopia. And I am gorgeous. As you can see, that's the reason why we protected ourselves against fire. Because of that. Alright, so next we're gonna do is sunblock. Oh, sorry guys, I need to restart. I made a mistake.
yeah sometimes um sometimes you um miss press something basically what happens is that you can just uh, exit the app restart it and it gets you back towards the beginning of the turn not necessarily the beginning of the fight it's the beginning of the turn my mistake there was that i chose sunblock and i should have gotten sunscreen instead sunblock and sunscreen are hugely different skills they have the same icon Actually, I haven't finished this fight without actually making a mistake yet, so let's just be patient. It's not even sunscreen, it's sun, it's sand castle. Alright, Nicole, let's do a sand castle. I'm gonna have Kiraja. You can see the true Muramasa won't do any that form of damage. There we go. Actually managed to survive that. Alright. So um our last uh skill we do foam now. And since this is the 10th turn, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be dispelling the guy, dispel, and then what Kiraja. Five, and six. And then, yeah, I can basically entrust one of the skill. Give it to Sora. Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna give it to Sora. I'm gonna give it to somebody more important. Oron. In terms of LB, I mean. Alright, time to do some R Sarcana. And R Sarcana with gnawing flames. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna do it next turn. Again, this is a do not touch turn. So we're not supposed to touch them. Alright. So, Seaside Nicole, what he's gonna do again is boost. I don't know, not water and ice. Lifeguard shade. And light guard fire and light. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cast Kiraja. 100% sure none of them is gonna die. Jubami Geshi through Muramasha Muramasha Alright, we're gonna get this spell next turn
So we are gonna get this spell the next turn. We're gonna get this spell the next turn. Now in flames. There you go. I'm gonna get this spell next turn and then we need to break the next turn. So this is a threshold turn, so I'm gonna throw another earth drum. Alright, I want people to get this spell so I'm not gonna heal. And oh Dive, no, no, not dive guard, lifeguard. Again, I'm just gonna restore some MP. Because we're gonna get dispelled anyway. And there you go. Bang. There you go. People got dispelled. Alright. We're gonna begin with the Seaside Nicole LB. And here we are gonna be casting the final. This is a hit turn now. And. Ah, oh yeah, that's already beyond 8. So we are gonna hit by hit turn. I mean, the ones we're gonna use this one. And then uh, Nicole is gonna do gorgeous pose. And then Fina is gonna Pretty much do Genshai Broad, Genshai Blade, and... Alright, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do Sand Castle. Then continuously do Whip Him. You do Ars, Arcanum, Knowing Flames, Set, The re-race is not really necessary, but no other spell is gonna regen, so it's fine. And Tsubamigashi, X Slash, Excalapore, Genjai Bow, and a Genjai Blade. The next turn is the most important turn. Alright, I mean not exactly the most important turn, but it's one of those turns that we need to have a bunch of defense. We have all three kinds of defenses up. And then, what we'll be doing is... Just by gonna be casting Kiraja and then re raise on our friend unit. Alright, to so my Bigashi, he's gonna do two of those Genjai. Right, X slash, Chubami Geshi, X slash, Excalibur, Chubami Geshi, X slash, Excalibur, that's a lot. Genjai Bow, Genjai Blade, Genjai Excalibur. And again, Jai Hell. Okay, we managed to survive.
Wow. <laughs> Just wow. It's a double Genjai uh, blade. Actually, the most threatening moves that he has is Genjai Bow and Genjai Blade. So here we go. Do the Summer Whip again. And then I'm gonna do is do the lifeguard. Then cast this. Sora has nothing better to do. Can I don't wanna waste waste some MP, so I'm just gonna cast Libra. By the way, casting Libra will not disturb your stack. That's why I'm casting Libra. But I'm really not sure. Doesn't feel like these stocks are disturbed. The Genjai Bow, the Genjai Blade. There's only one. <laughs> great. Just great. Now we can never dispel that because if we try to dispel that it will dispel our break as well. Alright. Alright, that's it. So we can hit this. And Seaside Nicole, it needs foam. What is it? Foam? It says here magic damage is there. So magic damage is foam. We'll do Sand Castle instead. Physical damage reduction. And again, we raise oh, the Genjai armor. What an annoying skill, especially when he doesn't. All right. The Genjai Bow, the Genjai Blade, the X Slash, and that's it. Alright! To get it on, 18th turn. That's it. It's gonna get dispelled anyway, so. And this one, since we cost a threshold, we don't need to seal him. What we're gonna do is we are gonna be giving uh, that to Seaside Nicole. And what Seaside Nicole is gonna be doing is just gonna be restoring some MP. And then what he's gonna do is gonna cast. Yeah, stylish form. Right, there we go. Okay. Seaside Nicole is gonna cast the LB up. It's 
guy's gonna do is just cast this. Then cast tornado. There we go. Sora will cast Libra. No, 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 not that. Definitely not that. We have Kiraja and we raise. And here. Tsubami Geshi. Oh, it's Kalipur. It's Kalipur. Tsubami Geshi. Genjai Bold. Genjai Blade. I believe this is the do not touch turn. So that would be the lifeguard shade and the fire and life. Gonna get custom power to this guy, Oren. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some damage with ours our cat but he has some resistances so it's not gonna do that much damage so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna cast raja And use both through Muramasa. All right. Okay, we are here. We are gonna start doing. Okay, it's foam. What do we have? Reduce them. What? Oh no. So we only have two kinds of mitigation now magic and general. Not good. Oh well, kinda scared. I just will cast eternal light. Yeah, this is the do not hit turn. I certainly do not wanna be hit with a powerful move, so I'm just gonna do this. Here. Ma. Uh, Gonna give him some of that. Now this is gonna be annoying. Sumura Masa will not do any damage. Excalibur 2, Excalibur 4. You know what my problem here? It's gonna have four of those Genjai Blade. Bang, bang. And the last one? Come on. What? Never mind, wasn't that bad. Alright, so here, I am gonna dispel that, and I'm gonna cast Kiraja.
And I am going to cast, um, the refreshing tool. If I'm not mistaken, I have no physical damage reduction yet. So I'm going to cast that physical damage reduction with Sandcastle. That's correct. That's correct. And then I am gonna cast Tornado. Do I, have, do I have fire resistance? Yes, I do. That means I'm not gonna be. You don't wanna push it too early. Okay. All right. So now we need to inch it with our Arcanum, and the other one is the Gnawing Flame. It's only one single cast. All right. Do that, and then I'm gonna do Manatopia. Then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cast um, Should say okay, I'm gonna cast the uh, Lifeguard shade and the lifeguard fire sunproof Lastly, True Muramasa. Actually, it's a True Muramasa that was. Alright. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast two of these. And hopefully, it's not gonna push them. It did. Ah, too bad, guys. Wait, is there a way? There's no way. We really do not want to push him, guys. We really do not want to push him. So again, this is the second time I actually decided that it was not possible. Um, the thing is, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to inch in closer towards the 20% and then we're gonna use the item in order to ensure that he's not gonna do anything for the next, for that uh, particular turn. So here, I'm gonna do Ars Arcanum and I am gonna do Rowing Flames. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna continue with what I've been doing. I can the uh, uh, okay, magic. I'm gonna put magic in. 
foam and here we'll do a schematic and here Gorgeous pose. We need to inch him as much as possible. I mean, it is not acceptable to just get at least 21%. 21 or 22. 24 is a little bit of a risk. All right. Anyway, what I'm gonna do here is I am gonna cast the spell and get a draw. And then we're gonna cast this. And then there's only one Ars Arcano. And I'm just gonna cast this. And then, what are we losing? Physical. So we're gonna do physical, which is Send Castle. As long as we keep all three mitigations up, we should be here, well, infinitely. Okay, so Soran Oran is gonna do is twenty one, please twenty. I hit it. Can't go twenty, guys. You can't go twenty. Maybe if I just mistime it on purpose. That again. Oh, never mind, just gonna do it one by one. Ah, hate it sometimes. It's inching strategies. Or it's probably not necessary. I can just probably push it and then. about it and then what do I have here all right so I don't have that lifeguard and this shade and fire light resist and here I can uh, give That would be twenty six, and then we're gonna go twenty seven next turn. Uh, 
All right. It's gonna it gonna cast Genjai stuff later. So. Yeah, I think I'm fine with 22. I think I'm fine with 22. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna wait a little bit. You know what? For this turn, just defend. This is one of those Genjai Helm, Genjai... It's a heavy turn. Do I have... No, I don't have Eternal Light yet. So I'm just gonna cast... Ruja. Raise one of them. And then we have to make sure that... Okay, we're done physical. Time to do magic. And that would be... Magic is foam. Physical. Now we have magic. The problem now is... Genjai Helm and Genjai Armor. Now three turns that we are not gonna I know first is we are gonna be casting here I am gonna cast this the spell the and that one and I'm just gonna be casting the uh, I'm uh, here. I'm just gonna be casting Libra the whole time. And here we need physical, physical. Sun Castle. And then we're not going to hit with fire anymore. Uh, he's just gonna do Libra. Magic and physical. So, lifeguard, restore MP, and shade. And then what happens is that we we'll entrust. And then I am gonna do this. Uh, 
Alright. That was a slightly bad decision. Alright. Physical, then I'm gonna do magic. Magic. I'm gonna do Libra. Defend. Then we're gonna do gorgeous pose. Think um, our friend unit's gonna die again. This is after all one of the Genjay turns. Yep, they die again. But it's okay. Alright. That's it. That's it. That's the time I'm gonna waiting game I was waiting for. Gonna dispel. So that's a moment I'm gonna cast my tornado. And then I'm gonna cast combo plus. Alright, then Seaside Nicole, we'll be casting our B, alright, this is it. Gonna cast Excalibur, Excalibur, Chubamigashi, and okay. All right, time to hit it. Up. Time to hit things up. It's time to push. One, two, three. One, two, uh, next is that cast that. And then I'm gonna hit the final earth drum. So he's gonna break for the next turn. Cast Manatopia. I'm gonna kill him if it's possible. No, there's two more. Just eternal light. And So he's gonna have to cast the uh, threshold by this turn. Yep. And finally, the coup de gras, Ars Arcanum.
Alright. That's about it. We did 8 limit burst, a bunch of elemental damage, and then uh, 3 items. Not more than 3 items. Okay, thanks for watching.